Um, you might already know our players, but um, we pre we prepared an introduction of them anyways. So have a look at them and meet the players. Hello everyone, my name is Ross Cawthon. You might have heard of me before, I've been playing the Pokemon trading card game for a very long time. I started in 1999, around the time the Jungle expansion came out. I'm from the United States, I grew up in Seattle, Washington, and now live in Madison, Wisconsin. My main goal in this game is to win the World Championship. I'd say my year-round goal is just coming up with new decks that no one else is playing and trying to beat everyone with them. Outside of Pokemon, I'm an astronomer. I work on a team called the Dark Energy Survey with collaborators in several different countries. You can read about our science online. And I'd like to give a quick shout out to all the content creators involved with this event, particularly the Limitless crew that's holding this event, as well as the content creators I'm competing with. As someone who's been around the game for a very long time, I really appreciate uh, how much content there is in the game today between all the Twitch streams and YouTube videos, articles, and now player-run tournaments. It's really an unprecedented time in the Pokemon TCG, uh, so props to all those creators for helping to grow the game like that. How's it going guys? My name is Axel Alvarez and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I've been playing Pokemon for about three years and I'd say my biggest goal would be to top 8 a regional and to day 2 worlds. Pokemon has been a really big part of my life ever since I started playing. I've met some of my best friends and countless amounts of cool people from Pokemon. And it's really cool to see Limitless putting on this big tournament for the community during this rough time. So you know, shout out to them. Thanks a lot. Hi guys, my name is Joshua Van Overskelde. Some might know me better as Zapdos TCG from YouTube. I'm from Belgium and I've been playing the game competitively ever since 2012. Since then I stepped up my game quite a bit and even managed to get some of these fantastic trophies uh, that Pokemon gives uh, to uh, good players, so that's great. I've traveled all around the world from Germany, Sweden, the UK and even all the way to the US for the World Championships. I just love how this game uh, connects everyone, brings everybody together from all age divisions. It doesn't matter if you're five, 18 or 30 years old, just seeing the smile on everyone's face while playing the game is the most wonderful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> That's also the reason I started YouTubing, by the way, because the more people get involved in this fantastic game, the better it is for the community. The best memory for me personally is playing at the World Championships with my own deck, Frostlass Lucario, created that from scratch. The game offers a lot of creativity and that's why it never gets boring. And also, uh, I definitely uh, consider checking out my YouTube content. And of course, a big shout out to Limitless TCG for providing us with the best online tournament the game's ever seen. Uh, and this rush is massive, but whoa, already two Electro Powers being played this turn by Kim. So if Kim he only needs find... like a Thunder Mountain or Tapu Koko Prison yeah. Sub, energy. Energy and Thunder Mountain! There it is! Another Electro Power! Another Electro Power to boot, insane. There's the wow. tech board. And Kim Pobega from Trieste, Italy, is gonna take down the tournament! Hello everyone, my name is Oliver Rochin, I'm from Mexico, and I play Pokemon since Celestial Storm came out almost two years ago. Since I got to know the game, I was hooked on playing it competitively, and I love it. My goal is to win the World Championship and make a name for myself in this beautiful community. Also, meet more people who like the game as much as I do. Uh, I want to contribute to this community. That's why I start making YouTube videos. Uh, they are in Spanish, which is my native language, but I invite you to check them out and maybe you will like the ideas I share there. The name of the channel is Oliver RTCG. Lastly, I would like to thank Limitless for making this tournament possible and to tell my friends and my team the admiration and love that I have for helping me to be better in the game and having a good time playing it. Also, I would like to thank to my fiance who always support me in this beautiful hobby. Uh, y ya, sin más que decir, espero contar con su apoyo representando a México, representando a América Latina. Vamos a darlo todo en el torneo, no vamos a bajar los brazos, concentrados y a ganar. Espero que nos vaya muy bien. La mejor de las suertes a todos los participantes, son excelentes jugadores y vamos a darlo todo. Muchas gracias. Hi, my name is Kevin Krieger. I live in Southwest Michigan. Uh, I've been playing for three years 
and uh, sort of in Burning Shadows. Uh, aspirations and goals, hopefully win this Invitational Tournament, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, other goals would be to qualify for Worlds. Uh, I had 300 points when the season was canceled, um, so that'll carry over and I should be in pretty good shape. Um, also would like to win a regional at some point, which is possible if they keep playing long enough. Uh, something personal, I'll just say I um, actually started playing while I was in medical school, um, going through some tough personal stuff. It's been a good hobby to pick up in terms of meeting new people with some more interests. Uh, there's lots of nostalgia for me in the game. Uh, and then get to indulge your more competitive side, which is also super fun. Um, and then being able to travel uh, and do something you really enjoy is, is nice uh, just to get a break and get away from it all. Sometimes um, line of work can be stressful, but things are going better now. Uh, big shout out to Limitless for putting this on. Thanks for, for having me. Appreciate it. So as we saw an amazing tournament in the past two days, 1,500 people competing for the title of champion. And it all came down to two people, Taketo Seki against Azul Garcia Grieco. Doesn't mind giving an odd prize here. There's and a Sonia! We Sonia. saw it! So he's Yay. okay, Azul's play does not get punished. Um, I mean, he can still combo this turn, which yeah. technically means punished. punish. Uh, but you have to hope Taketo doesn't set up the other Zaishin, which he just sonia so he should have the pieces, right? Mm -hmm. He already played uh, already a bunch of Metal Saucers. I'm looking at Azul right now, and he does seem very nervous. <laughs> He's uh, standing yeah. up, pacing. Hello, everyone. My name is Avilashin, or Avi Umashankar, and I am from Tomball, Texas, in the U.S. I have been collecting and playing casually since about 2015, uh, but I only recently started playing competitively, and I got about three-fifths of my invite before the coronavirus kicked in and shut everything down. Uh, my main goal is to make the World Championships and obviously compete in it, uh, I'd like to thank all of my teammates on Thunder Team uh, for just being amazing, uh, for testing with me and bringing a lot of support. I'd like to thank my friends Scotty Jesser for letting me use his account for Q1 and Rudy Paris for letting me use his account for Q2, 3, 4, and this Invitational. I'd also like to extend a great thank you to Limitless for making my weekends during this pandemic a lot more fun and entertaining. Thank you. Jo, was geht? Ich heiße Gaba. Ich zock ähm, das Game schon seit zwölf Jahren jetzt mit einer Unterbrechung. Mhm. Meine Ziele waren eigentlich immer gewinnen. Hab das nicht immer hingekriegt, aber sonst eigentlich immer so gut zu sein, wie es geht. Ähm, Shoutouts gehen raus. Ähm, an meine Oma. An Kaya. <lacht> Uh, an alle, die ich kenne, zu viele, um es auszuzählen jetzt. Und nicht, wirklich nicht an Nico Alabas. Weil, nachdem er 2010 das World's Test Turnier gewonnen hat, hat der Junge zu viel Fame abgekriegt. Und leider hat es ihm echt nicht gut getan. Wirklich nochmal, wirklich nicht an Nico Alabas. Wirklich nicht. Yep, and he will be facing Aaron Friedman, who's at 12-4 record. Also, still decent odds for top 8. Yeah, not quite an as, com as comfortable a position as Magnus with us one more win. If Magnus down. wakes up, now if Magnus wakes oh. up, oh no, oh. he stays asleep. The crucial coin flip deciding the game. If Magnus had more, one more switch. And yeah, we are ready to show you Shimada Daichi versus Aaron Friedman and both of those players are, th I think, very interesting. Mm. Aaron Friedman, who has been performing amazing going, um, uh, yeah, in our last qualifiers, he's been 19th uh, in ranking, so he already had 20 limitless points before this. So he needs like a top 32 finish to make it into our invitational. And with 14 and 5, I think a win should give him an invite for our invitational. So that's certainly going to be a high stakes game. Retreat, retreat, tandem yep. block, take the knockout. Does he and see it? Is. Yes, there we go. So yeah, time yeah. shock board and alcohol. I still keep thinking that somehow yeah, this day pretty is sure. 30 HP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure Shimada would have had it if he had just attacked with Pika then, and now this turn he could have just finished it off with his Mew, take the game that way, and yeah, yeah and take the win. However, with this, Aaron Friedman moves on to a 14 and 6 record and yep. puts him in a pretty 
decent position to get an invite for our limitless invitational. He definitely is getting quite a few points here. And yeah, we've already having been in the decent position before this. This 14 6 record definitely gives him a good chance at it at the very least. Hey everyone, my name is Luke Morsa. You might know me from my channel, Celio's Network, where I create Pokemon TCG content. I am from New Jersey in the United States, and I've been playing the game for about 20 years now. Uh, one of my goals within the Pokemon trading card game is to help players get into the game and grow the game, and once players are in, help them achieve the goals that they are striving for with my content. And a personal career goal of mine is to make top 8 at Worlds. I just feel like that is such a huge accomplishment, and I'm going to keep on working towards that one. Outside of the Pokemon trading card game, I am in graduate school to become a mental health counselor, and I do try to let that influence my Pokemon content from time to time when the two worlds cross over and it's applicable. We are very lucky to have Limitless TCG putting on this amazing tournament series for us. It, it was great to see what a small group of dedicated people could do and really just bring this community together when we didn't have real tournaments going on. So I'm very excited to compete this weekend amongst other players and content creators, and I hope you all enjoy the show at home. Hi, I'm Takuto Seiki. I'm from Japan. I have played Pokemon card game from... 5 years old to 12 years old. Then I took a break because of school work. And 3 years ago, 18 years old. I came back and last year. I could be world competitor for the first time 13 years. My dream is to become professional Pokemon player. Thank you, Limitless. Bye bye, Yato. Hello, my name is Dominik Malicki. I'm 24. I'm from Poland, Europe. Um, I'm playing Pokemon since Celestial Storm. My goal in Pokemon is to be Pokemon Master and collect them all. Polska Gurom, pozdrawiam, papa! Hey guys, my name is Chip Ritchie. I'm a Pokemon TCG content creator, commentator, and player. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina in the United States, and I've been playing this game since late 2015, around the time that the Breakthrough expansion was released. Uh, my main goal in Pokemon is to make this game more well-known and more appreciated by a wider audience. I, I really do love Pokemon. I've been a Pokemon fan my entire life, and I genuinely think that the trading card game is a great game and has so much more potential to be much, much bigger than it is. And I want to do my best, do everything I can to make more people uh, know about this game. Huge shout out, of course, to Limitless for really stepping up and putting on this awesome series after the season was unfortunately canceled. I'm so thankful for this group of people who I know is super passionate about this game and really wants to see it grow just like I know I do. I also really, really, really want to thank those that voted for me to get me into this invitational tournament. Thank you so much. It really does mean a lot to me. Thank you to anyone who's ever stopped by and watched one of my YouTube videos, stopped in and said hello in one of my Twitch streams. Your support uh, means the world to me. I wouldn't be here without that, and I appreciate you guys uh, watching this event. I hope you enjoy it, and thanks once again to Limitless. What's up, guys? I'm Michael Catron. I'm from Walkersville, Maryland, and I've been playing Pokemon TCG for 10 years. Um, a lot of people know me as playing meme decks a lot, not really taking the game too seriously, and then this season I started playing, focusing more on doing well, trying to get my name out as a top player, uh, and ended up playing some, pretty much only playing Malamar the whole season, um, which tends to be kind of uh, how I like to play the game, just trying to slowly put your opponent into a checkmate scenario rather than just beating them in the face with a, a tag team. Um, uh, some of my goals for Pokemon are always just, just always being number one, uh, no matter what I'm competing in, whether it's the World Championships or just a League Cup. Um, and lastly, I just want to say shout out to Limulus for putting on these events. It's been a great way for the community to stay together during these rough times. Hello everyone, my name's Joe Bernard. I'm 25 years old. I'm from Oxford, England. I rediscovered Pokemon back in 2009 around the release of Legends Awakened, started collecting and learning the trading card game, and I started attending events in 2014. 
My overall goal as a player is to make top four of the World Championships. Not only do you get a sweet Pikachu trophy and card, it would also put me ahead of both Jay Witz and Jalen, who are other casters who have made top eight in the past. Outside of that, I'd also love to get the chance to commentate a World Championships one year. I'm hoping London 2021, so fingers crossed. Thanks to everyone who voted for me to even get me in this tournament in the first place. I wasn't good enough to make it on my own, so I needed your guys' help. So I do pr appreciate that. And to anyone who supported the YouTube channel or the Twitch stream over the last few years. And I try my best to high roll in this tournament uh, because there's some pretty good players and I don't see a way that I can win the tournament otherwise. Thanks to Limitless for hosting this event and really bringing the community together over the last few months in some very strange times. Stay safe, everyone, and enjoy the stream.